Hello. Today is uh, Easter Sunday, 2020, which is uh, April 12th, uh, 2020, and it's about 5.15 here in Pasadena, California, and I'm going to go through my notes here quite a bit uh, from the last week. Uh, this is not in any, any particular order again. So first of all, if any of you uh, who are presently uh, program members, that's defined as you've made some sort of program contribution since uh, Christmas of uh, 2019, then um, that, that puts you in that category. Uh, let me know if you would be interested in uh, having a live uh, video Zoom chat um, maybe once a week, or we'll figure out the schedule. But first, I need to determine if anybody actually cares. Um, send an email uh, to vote at the sportsvote.com. Uh, we can talk about anything. It doesn't have to just be about ASM related matters. So uh, first I want to gauge interest and then we'll see about the scheduling and logistics. Uh, the Nevada economy is looks like number one to be hit the hardest from the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Uh, it kind of stands to reason on a number of counts. It's an economy based upon tourism and gambling tourism. And that's just simply not going to be something people are going to return to quickly. Um, because first, they're not going to have money to waste on gambling. Second, they're not going to fly anywhere or want to go anywhere where there are crowds of people. So it stands to reason that this would be the number one spot. I can't say that it breaks my heart because you know my position clearly on gambling. So I say, so be it. State lotteries are down hard. That's also not a big surprise. I'm not a fan of the state lottery system either. I think that's predatory, just like Les Bernal does. Uh, virtual DNC convention. Now, this is an interesting development, and I think it just shows where we are in terms of the magnitude of what's happening here to talk about trying to hold uh, the DNC convention virtually instead of uh, in a convention center. E-NASCAR. So the I said that as soon as... Um, First, the Gambling Commission in Nevada and New Jersey had an emergency uh, approval of, of NASCAR, uh, e-NASCAR gambling, and it resulted in an instant scandal. Um, I said exactly that would happen. It didn't take but a matter of days for that to happen. I find it uh, really amusing that they would think that a gambling emergency can exist under any circumstances. <laughs> Um, GDP, I said down half, half, I want you to think about that. Uh, JP Morgan Chase and Goldman are both saying 40%, so they're getting close. Um, I'm just going to take that victory lap because I'm on the record from about 10 days ago, maybe a little longer, saying that that would be the case. Um, I won't get into the full impact of that. It's way too much to cover on this video, but... Uh, we've never seen anything like that, certainly not in modern time. Uh, I'm not even sure that's the case um, from the Great Depression period. So really rough times coming here. Uh, as far as getting our story out, uh, meaning that once we get league funding, uh, we get leagues agreeing to fund on our platform, I would start by going to the LA Times to make it a local story. We talked about this years ago, how the media works. I would start with it as an LA Times story and use that to ring it out from there and then turn it into a New York Times story. Um, regarding the offer that I made to make up for the, uh, the audit results, I said I would release all five years of uh, penny by penny cash flow, which is actually the entire period of the uh, SEC investigation. I would also um, disclose all of the SEC documents that I turned over to the SEC, all the evidence that I gave them, many, many gigabytes, uh, tens of thousands, I think hundreds of thousands of files, and also 10 years of my personal tax returns. Uh, basically, this was all to make up for um, the delay and delivery of the, of the audit results. I got no takers on that. Well, I got one taker that took it back and another taker that took it and then violated the, the confidentiality agreement. So that's it. Uh, I don't believe it was an honest request by some parties. It was just to make trouble. So I called their bluff and that's the results. ASM lives, gambling dies. Just remember that I said that, okay? ASM lives, 
gambling dies. Gambling is dying right before our eyes. We are functioning. No sports books are functioning. There's nothing to bet on. So I'm actually seeing as much or more volume on ASM right now than I've seen in times past when we didn't have uh, the issue with games not being played. So that's kind of fascinating. No games being played, and yet the volume spikes up some days higher than it did when games were being played. So we're alive, and they're dead, and that's a fact. If it's not a fact, then show me where the games are to bet on, okay? We just had a scandal with eNASCAR. Uh, it took three days, okay? So apparently the only thing they could find out there was eNASCAR, and they managed to screw that up in a matter of days. Crypto class action lawsuits, well, those, th those are just starting to pour in. I, it's more than I want to cover here. You can do your own research. Snakes eating snakes, guaranteed to happen. I sent a, a LinkedIn message to Sharon. Um, Sharon is a co-inventor of the SRI. She is the chief economist at the State Department, saying that now would be a good time to put the SRI online. Um, in fact, maybe a little bit too late to, to manage the risks that have already taken place. But if the SRI would have been alive uh, when this crash took place, then billions of dollars would have been saved uh, from the sport, you know, the, the losses in the sports industry. Yet to receive a response, but I do know that she got the message. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, NBA esports. So, so that was the next scandal right after. So it didn't take but another couple of days for an NBA esports scandal to break out. And I'm sure if you've been watching sports, you know what I'm talking about. SEC is talking about an emergency rulemaking session to ease the capital requirements for small business. Obviously, they're looking for any way they can to allow uh, business to restart. Uh, I don't know where this is going yet, but we're going to keep an eye on it. It has both impacts in terms of uh, our fundraising and also of the putting away of the SEC lawsuit um, on both counts. So we're keeping a close eye on that. I got a reach out from a very high level person in the XFL wanting to talk about our um, about what ASM does and fundraising. And then a couple of days after that, uh, they blew up. So that's the second time uh, that the XFLs come apart. It's also the second time, the, the second high profile football league startup failure in the last, what, 18 months? That is going to severely injure the funding markets for any sort of sports expansion or any sort of sports funding. And this is the gap that we walk into right here, because not only the macroeconomic problems, but now you have two uh, failures inside of the same pretty relatively short period of time. And that is going to freeze uh, interest in, in that. In, in, in Capital markets all follow each other around. So they're they're going to see this as a danger sign in terms of funding any sort of new ideas or expansion of sports. Again, that's us walking right into that gap. So I want to cover some, inf I, I, am, I have a real problem with the misinformation society that we live in and have lived in for like the last five years. There's all this thrashing about China, China this and China that, you know, maybe we shouldn't have sold them our entire manufacturing base. I mean, to turn around and Blame them for doing it when we basically handed it to them makes no sense to me. On top of that, we've been prosecuting patent applications for the SRI and the ASM platform for 10 years now. For 10 years, we've been doing that in, in the United States, in Europe, in Australia. And, I mean, it, it, there's a bunch of countries all over the world we've been prosecuting and chasing around the, the, the agencies to issue these patents. And I want to show you something because... I'm really tired of the misinformation. It makes me very angry at this point that so much of it exists. You see this? Okay, this is communist China, right? Okay, so you see, see the front cover? Okay, this is the only patent, the only patent that we've been issued from the communists. Okay, the communists, right? So millions of dollars of development and, and, and paying lawyers and, and all over the world filing applications. And the only issued patent that we have is in China on the SRI. Okay, so please take note of this. Okay, because this is very significant in terms of 
how much misinformation is out there in the world. And this is owned by our stakeholders. This is, the again, the only patent that we've actually prosecuted all the way through. So I don't tolerate too much of that. I don't like the negative talk because it's misplaced. I mean, the U.S. Patent Office has been jerking us around for 10 years, but the Chinese give us the patent. So if they're such intellectual property thieves, why did they do this? Why don't they just steal it, right? Isn't that what everybody says, that they steal everything? Well, that that's not my experience. Um, okay, so... FanDuel attempted to list an election contract. Again, desperation attempts. Uh, this, is, this is just pure desperation. Uh, and it pulled. they pulled them almost immediately. That's flat out. You can't do that. There's a lot of uh, reasons behind that, which go beyond the scope of this video. But you cannot have election contracts. And I guess somebody in their legal department didn't, didn't get to it before they listed it, but got to it after they listed it and it came down. Lots of chatter about sports books going broke and is your money safe and all this. Of course, of course, it's not safe. Of course, they're going to use the money for whatever they have to pay themselves. You know, forget it. I mean, there's nothing for them to do but wait. And, and every day they wait, their, their overhead goes on and on and on. So they're going to collapse all over the place. You'll see. The British are talking about uh, going back. <laughs> there was an interesting story in The Economist about 1950s life in Britain and how everybody's kind of settling back into the good old days. I just want to mention that uh, ten, more than 10 years ago, actually about 15 years ago, I when we did our design for the Super Bowl. Uh, we, were, we were looking to, to develop an, a Super Bowl commercial. And the theming around that was back to basics, back to the old days. And so anyway, just do with that what you want. Uh, the Arizona... Baseball, they're trying to see if the public would go for the idea of playing all of the major league baseball games for this coming season in one place, in one stadium in uh, Arizona. Um, I understand the reasoning behind this, and actually we had some discussion about it on the Friday Hero Huddle. Um, I, If you're a program uh, participant, you got a copy of that replay where I talked about that and took some questions on that. It, it really is going to come down to playing games um, in, a, in, a, in a sterile environment because most people don't have a, ba a stadium nearby or they, they can't afford it even if they do. They watch the games on media. They watch it on their phones. They watch it uh, you know, on television. So the main thrust of the sports industry right now is to get those games back on broadcast, right, so that the TV rights and, you know, and the fans get the games back. It's not as important that they're in the stands. So that is a... The, the baseball idea is, to, I think, to float to the public, to see what the public's view on that idea is and, and if the people will accept that. So it's very interesting. Keep an eye on that. Um, this is just a prediction on my part. 25 to 50% reduction in high-capacity buildings over the next decade because you're not going to see a reason. Companies are going to realize they don't need to put up skyscrapers and have people jammed together in concrete boxes to get a job done. The only exception is going to be physical plants where you build stuff, uh, you know, where you have to pound out sheet metal and su such. But everybody else can pretty much function from uh, from home or from you know home-like settings. I think that you're going to also see a, um, a more a move towards turning every gathering place that's normal into a more business kind of setting where you can do either. Think restaurants, bars, you know, places where people naturally congregate because. Yes, people can work at home, but home doesn't necessarily mean home, home. It could be at a Starbucks or maybe while you're at lunch and so forth. So I think you're going to see a lot of that fluidity in, in, in allowing employees, because everybody's pretty much a knowledge worker now unless they machine things. So I think you're going to see that. That's, that's where the direction is going to trend and away from jamming people together in, in big concrete boxes, which I never liked much in the first place. Um, Airbnb, Lyft, Uber, all huge tr trouble here. Not, not just because they, uh, because of obvious reasons people aren't moving around, but the whole uh, stranger danger thing is going to really persist. And I, I just see uh, maybe in a taxi, there will be a taxi authority, and the taxi authority will make sure that the, the, the sanit sanitize the, the taxis and there's some rules around, you know, to, to make it as, uh, as safe as can be, that's the purpose of a taxi commission. But when you get to these peer-to-peer -peer type things, you're literally staying in somebody's house, you're staying in their car. 
and I just don't think that that's I just don't think that's going to um, it's going to be a, it, people are not going to go for that for a long time. Um, Major League Baseball is also running an esports test, so I don't not clear on exactly how this works, but I know it's like imminent. Um, so you can see that the the search is on for some way to get the fans back engaged. The Stranger Danger survey that I sent out. The results almost mirror other polls that have been done, which I think, I think it really tells a story about the future of sports uh, that is is going to scare the heck out of the sports operators in the world because uh, there are very few people that are going to be willing to go back to a stadium for a very long time, and our uh, percentages almost match the other polls. And you can see the the results. It's published on the no notice board. It's a live results page, so you can you can see it as the as it comes in. Um, NBA is urging financial education through the crisis. While, while that's fan, just crazy, the NBA is urging players and everyone to, to look into financial education during the shutdown. That's, that's an amazing coincidence. Um, the Sports Vote Manifesto. So uh, you may not know much about this, but and I'm not sure that this is an exact right uh, comparison, but it's, it's kind of getting passed around a lot right now because of the shutdown. They're talking about a new Marshall Plan, so that's kind of where I'm I'm at with this. Is that's what this is about? Is it's a workable document? It's a workable framework for the new sports economy. So I'm not saying branded as the new Marshall Plan, but I'm thinking along those terms. So look that up if you don't know what that means. Really fantastic book uh, that I just stumbled upon looking for something to uh, to listen to from the from the library audiobooks. Um, Peter Thiel zero to one. Fantastic. If you haven't, if you haven't read that book or listened to it or whatever, it's worth the time. Uh, Mark Cuban knows that looks like the future is at least the near future is going to be fanless NBA games. So again, we're, it's all tracking towards the same um, conclusions. All right. So what happens next? What happens next is um, the video completion by Wednesday, April, it's Wednesday, I believe, April 15th. And then and that's also the, um, the completion date for the league listing form intake. So I will go back to the, uh, I think it's about 850 leads. I've got it on pause just for a moment right now, about 850 leads right now. Then I'll go back to them and send them the video and the video will drop them onto the league listing um, intake form to, to list their leagues for uh, on all sports market. And that will start the vetting back in process to sort the real ones from the fake ones and, and get that first order. Okay, remember that's, I, I actually think that isn't going to be the issue. <laughs> I, I think getting the first order is, a fir is going to be a foregone conclusion at this point, but this is the system to get leagues listed. So that will begin on Wednesday. That's that's the, the start button. So this just stays away. Okay, so um, a little bit of negative stuff here. Just, uh, just bear with me a second. I've, I've tolerated a lot of garbage for way too long, and it's not going to happen anymore. So I want to cover this before I get to the, the happy closing part of this. Um, there's no more tolerance at all for false and misleading public statements that I can identify the source. Okay, anything out in the public domain that's that's negative is going to come to my attention. There's no doubt. I. It, Every, there are eyes everywhere, and anything that is like that comes to my attention. From now on, okay, because this is going to stop. There are people that have dedicated their entire lives to this, not just me, that have dedicated their lives, their treasure, their passion, their enthusiasm to this, and we're not going to tolerate internet trolls and liars and all this kind of garbage anymore. I'm going to track them down, okay? I'm going to track you down, and I'm going to hold you accountable. The state of California has books and books of laws regarding uh, – Propagation of false and misleading information, cyber stalking, all of that stuff is absolutely illegal. Okay. And if you don't think I can't reach out and touch you from the state of California, you're crazy because I absolutely can. The reason is the celebrity culture here. You cannot have free reign on people to, because the, the reputations are how people make their livings here. So the law is extremely tight. Okay. Now I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. And at this point, we're right on the edge of, of, of doing exactly what we've been working nearly 20 years to do. The market opportunity dropped in our lap in a way I could have never imagined. I'm not saying that I'm happy about the crisis. I think it's terrible. I think people are dying for no reason. I think we have an incompetent 
president who's getting people killed every day by his words, but that's where it's at, okay? And this is our moment in, 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 in this is absolutely the moment to go out and, and be a rescue operation for the entire sports industry. I said we needed a rescue operation for just one team or one league, actually. That would be all we needed to have the best possible story for ASM. Now the entire sports world is coming unglued, and it all needs a rescue operation. So I'm not going to allow anybody on this earth to shoot their mouth off and cause us problems anymore. The line in the sand is drawn. If you do this, I will find you, and I will order you to stop. And if you do not stop, then I will escalate the pressure and it will ultimately result in a libel lawsuit. A nice round number, $100 million. That's what you're going to be facing. Okay. You guys like Trump. That's Trump's favorite number. Okay. So I'm going to use it. $100 million because you are screwing up the, the work, the product and, and the passion and, and the commitment of a lot of people over a long period of time for, I guess, your own entertainment, it's not going to happen, okay? Look, look at me in the eyes. It's going to stop, okay? I will stop you, okay? 100% stop you. Okay, so what does all this mean? It means this is it, okay? This is the moment to do what we said we were going to do almost 20 years ago. And if you think this problem is going away next week because you, draw, you, you listen to Fox News or you listen to Trump's Twitter feed, mark my words. This is not going to go away next week. It's not going to go away next month. We'd be lucky to get out of this in the next 12 to 18 months, frankly. Okay? Because until a uniform policy, national policy, is, is put in place in terms of tracking and tracing and keeping these, keeping these areas isolated from each other, you're going to get... You're going to get contraction in one place, and then it's going to spout up in another place. It's going to come over here and go. It, you're not going to get rid of it. It's going to be like whack-a-mole, okay, until the right thing is done. And I see no indication that that policy is going to be put in place unless we have a change of leadership in November, which I would put my money on at this point, okay? You're going to see just the same things going on. It's going to be whack-a-mole, okay, and nothing is going to work right until we do the right things. So. We need to step into this gap, show the world what we have, get the story out there, and, and that's it, okay? The new sports economy comes to life. The world needs something new. This entire system is on the verge of collapse. I'm sorry, but that's the case. I mean, quite literally, this could be the end of the American empire if something, does, something major doesn't happen very, very soon. Because we can't sustain a 40%, 50% drop in GDP and, and listen, even when it comes back, it's not going to come back to that level. Nobody wants to say that right now, but mark the date, okay? This video will live forever, and I will be able to show you exactly that I said this and that that is the case. Now, we have a solution here. We have a real solution here. We've been working on it a long time, diligently, faithfully, with blood, sweat, tears, sleepless nights, and... We will present this to the sports world, and we will get takers. And then when that story gets out, our story gets out, and we're going to be front page news. Because right now, the world is looking for solutions. They're looking for first responders for every kind of thing, medical, economic, everything. We are the solution for the sports industry. We can restore this better than before, strip it of that garbage gambling crap, and, and invest in sports change the world, build a new sports economy, and make a new future, not just for the United States, but for the world. If you think that's worth supporting, in the, in the bottom uh, of the description there is the current uh, GoFundMe link. Well, it's always the same link. It's just going to be updated with as, as uh, funds come in and as more are needed. And as I said, if you uh, participate, if you have participated from Christmas until now, and if you participate at any any number, okay, it doesn't matter what it is, then then you will get into the list uh, to receive the other stuff, which includes the the hero huddle stuff and basically a briefing that I put together that is a sum of all of this, um, the teleconferences and all the things that I do during the week. 
It's a sum of all that information. You'll get copies of that and also the, the detailed inflow, outflow requirements and what we're doing with the money and how much we need, all of that. That will be provided to you. But if you're not in, in the program, you're not going to get that. You can, you can get the public reports from IRS because that's the only thing that we're obligated to do. And at this point, if it's, it's not that you helped us two years ago. That doesn't count, okay? That's, you tell that to the airlines. Tell the airlines right now that, well, you know, I was an investor two years ago or I helped you two years ago. Listen, the airlines need help right now. In our case, whoever's here now is going to be here when the light, when the New York Times runs us on the front page. Otherwise, you're going to keep your stake. I can't take any of that away from you, but you're not going to be close to the team. You're not going to be part of the company in any meaningful way. I'm not going to give you any partnerships. I'm not going to hire you. I'm, you're not going to have any direct participation. You'll have the stock claim that you have and, that, and do with as you will. The day will come when those shares will marketable. It will all happen in once, okay? It's going to be just like it always is. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Everybody cares. I've now seen it two, three times. Okay. It'll be the same thing, but you walk away now and turn your back. Okay. Then you stay out. Okay. You keep your stake, but we're not going to give you a job. We're not going to partner with you. We're not going to have anything to do with you from the core team. That's that fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Okay. It's just not fair. It's not how things work. We need these things to be, we need help on all these various things now, okay? In the same way that every other industry needs help, it's no different for us, okay? So what you did in the past is meaningless, absolutely meaningless. I can't count it either, okay? If I stop working, if I stop working on this right now, if the team stops working on this right now, it stops, okay? You, you can't point to, to historical things and, and rest on your butt with that. I can't do that for one single day. So anyway, stay safe with your family. Please know that the team is working very hard every single day, every single day to get to this 15th start, April 15th, that's Wednesday, okay, to start farming these leads. I have people actively reaching out to me and saying, where is the next step? Where is they're getting impatient, okay? That's where it's at. I promise you, I'm not making up a word of it, okay? So thank you for your time. Thank you. And please stay safe with your family. That is the most important thing. Please follow the government, not the politicians. Follow the guidance of the experts, okay? People in CDC, people in the World Health Organization, people that have been doing this for 30, 40 years, okay? That's who you listen to. You don't go to an auto mechanic for a brain surgery, okay? Use your head, okay? Listen to the people that have been doing this their whole lives, okay? Otherwise, you're risking your own life and the life of your family and your friends, bottom line. So thank you for your time, and I will update you again next weekend. Bye now.